I got a ball cutter out of one of my uh, bit kits. Going half and coming out, that seemed to work pretty good, and I can just basically come at an angle. Um, I don't think, like I said, I don't think I really need to worry too much about the whole screw part. Well, let's see, I'm not quite sure how much I'll be in the way. Now, granted, it's not going to be that pretty because I'm just doing it handheld. Oh. And hopefully, this is. And they don't have to be connected, they just have to be wells to uh, hold more grease. So, what I'm thinking is, is if I can do this repeatedly, you know, with a ball cutter. Um, ball cutter and CNC because then basically I could put it in the mill like this and just bring it up in a corkscrew fashion with a ball cutter. Okay, uh, more I could go around like this. I could uh, um, come up with just a slight twist. You know, I, I think I'm golden with a ball cutter there. So now I just got to see. I think I kind of like that size. Uh, then it's just a matter of having something to kind of go in here and. Uh, clean up the uh, the debris or whatever you guys ever use the drill as a reamer or a file well that did a nice job because as you pull it back out you know <laughs> it's gonna cut same way as if it was drilling so that just took all the uh, that took all the burrs off quite nicely Sweet. Okay, so let's let's do that again. See the. All right. Let's see. See the burrs. So let's see what the drill does. focus in here oh god sweet 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 okay um, I gotta dig out the little grease packets and then I can uh, box these up to uh, ship out 